This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 9, verses 14 to 15. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. A little later, John's followers approached asking, Why is it that we the Pharisees rigorously discipline body and spirit by fasting but your followers don't? Jesus told them, When you're celebrating a wedding, you don't skimp on the cake and wine, you feast. Later, you may need to exercise moderation, but not now. No one throws cold water on a friendly bonfire. This is kingdom come. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 9 verses 14 and 15. John the Baptist had an ascetic life and perhaps followed the austere lifestyle of the Qumran community which had its life in the desert away from the contaminations of the outside world they spent their time studying the scriptures intensely preparing for the coming of the messiah through rigorous discipline of body and spirit by fasting and penance evidently the baptist followers picked up the lifestyle of their master The gospels have recorded that some disciples of John the Baptist later became the disciples of Jesus. Consequently, the disciples of both John the Baptist and Jesus must have been friends and knew what was happening in each camp. Now, the Baptist camp was apparently a little envious of the more relaxed lifestyle of Jesus's disciples. Maybe there was even a bit of self-righteousness in this question implying that it was high time for Jesus to make his followers shape up and follow the standard practices of such religious groups. We should not forget that the gospel of Matthew which was written over 40 years after the death of Jesus was trying to address specific issues that the community of Matthew was facing. The Judaizers in the early church were making life complicated for the young community of believers by introducing all the rules and regulations and traditions of the Jewish religion. Matthew wants to clarify to his community that fasting or other traditional religious practices have value but not at the expense of faith in Jesus and his teachings. He teaches us to be people of joy and joy of being friends of the bridegroom, the friends of Jesus. We tend to complicate what could be straightforward. Jesus taught us to love God and love God's people. Anything that goes against the commandment of love and charity is not from God. The prophet Micah puts it this way. Do what is fair and just to your neighbor. Be compassionate. and loyal in your love. Matthew chose to address a more important point than the issue of fasting. His principal concern, however, was the life of the community during the period between the crucifixion of Jesus and the expected second coming of Jesus. Jesus the bridegroom is absent in this era in which his community was living. The physical presence of Jesus was no more there. This interim time would be one when disciples would indeed hunger and thirst for justice, a time of longing for the kingdom of heaven. Now, 2000 years have passed since the bridegroom has been taken away. The world is under the grip of destruction of war. Millions of people are displaced and are forced to flee their land. Their fasting is imposed and unwanted, a stark reminder of the sin of the world. 
Today the church calls on us to protect the displaced, the refugees, those on the streets, 